All right, guys, welcome back to Cheat Landers Dailies Part 2. We left off, we got cheated, and then we marked a squad and got out with some decent loot. And I sold all I said decent loot. We're rocking there. That's a hair. Uh, decent AK. And this guy's kit, which is meh. But we have gas, and I'm going to gas the shit out of somebody. Let's go. I've always got gas. Hey, that guy got banned. We just need to get this other guy banned now. I'll have to post the video. Last video. It's not going to be in order with my other videos. I hate when I have to do that. To report cheaters, but... Somebody's got to get these people banned. Everybody needs to go onto Discord and be like, hey, Wolf gets, catches a lot of cheaters and they rob him and whoop his ass, so you should give him his horse skin for free. You should do that. And I'd be like, oh, thank you, thank you. I would be perfectly happy then. I would not complain at all anymore about the cheaters. I'll even stop calling the game Cheat Landers if they give me my final form horror skin for free. I'd appreciate it. But if not, Cheat Landers forever. Who cares? It's their fault the game is in this state. They take away all the modes that mean anything and they do nothing about the cheating. They don't do nothing about the cheating. They do something, but they're frickin' slow about it. That's for sure. I've got people on my, like, list that are have been reported for cheating, and they're, like, continuous testing, and they've been on continuous testing. For like a month. I don't know what they do for continuous testing other than just like look at the video you posted and they're like, nah. I can't say for sure. We'd rather not risk banning paying players. I'm sure a lot of it has to do with people that pay. So if you're a cheater, and you pay them a little bit of money, they'll probably leave you alone. Because we all know the mighty dollar rules supreme. Men's greed overshadows their morals. But not this guy. You could pay me enough money. gas to our advantage. <laughs> Get some. I 
I gas him out. It was effective. These guys were naked running though. They didn't have shit. I did see. Where did I pass that purple ammo at though? Did this guy pocket it? I I saw some purple ammo somewhere. little bit of it. Yeah. Oh well. No sense in being Shy. Yeah, give me some more of that miasma. I'll smoke out the next group. Actually, I forgot that that was a times four. Unbeneficial in this close range. There could be more than just that team in here. Might have been the only team. If there was another team, they might have just stayed out of the tunnels. And they're throwing fake grenades. See a guy? I think I just saw a guy there. I think 
might try to come in the front over here. Which? Damn. Good job, buddy. Well, we didn't actually escape. <laughs> but that was a lot of fun playing against legit people. The, uh, the miasma he was kind of fun. That one dude was wearing uh, anti rad for sure because I couldn't see him. <clears throat> Which means I fire grenade to do shit to him. But the other guy, like he got hurt by the fire grenade and the miasma, so he was not happy. All right, let's do it one more time. I gotta, I gotta get out. If I can get out, we good to go. Finally, some non-cheaters. But will they come back? Or will I get matched with a cheater in the next game? Watch now, like, the next three games are just going to be like these cheaters killing naked me, trying to just escape. <laughs> I'll be like, ah. Jesus. Well, I mean, I'm already going to report somebody. As long as it's not the same guy, I guess, you know, you're not... I could post this video too, and we could report another cheater or two, if that's what it takes. I mean, while I'm doing it anyway, might as well. What we got? I already looked through all the weapons. I looked through these attachments earlier too, but who knows? Maybe we find another one. Or maybe there's nothing. Maybe people just aren't reposting because people aren't playing. That's not bad. Not 700k good, but not bad. <laughs> eh, no, not paying 200 for times four. Need a bag of dicks. I have this bag, it's full of dicks. And you can fucking eat it. That's not awful, but I wouldn't pay 60k for it. I'd pay like 25k people want outrageous amounts of money for some of this shit, they can just have fun repo. 400k? Come on. Come on. Just for a 13%. If it's 300k, like, I would pay 300k for a times 8. That would be acceptable. 400? No. Now you're just getting greedy. Fucking greedy son of a bitch. We got here. Holy ball sacks. It's a big negatory. 90. What was I get? Times 9 times 10. Or 9 or 10 percent maybe. I want 150 for the 9 percent. See if we can find a 10. There's a 10 for 190. Oof. Yeah. 
Let's pass. I've already got a bunch of those, anyways. We got anything? Let's check out what we got. Trash. Let's see what we got for fixed dispersion. I mean, the only rifle that would be good on, probably, damn, would be the DMR-14. Maybe the Persuader. I don't know if dispersion affects, like, single shot weapons all that much. Maybe does. Naked sniper. What can you do? I don't know. I'll try to get out like there early on. For starters. Nobody there. Nobody there. That I can see. Spawned over there and it's coming over here. Seems like no. Big negative. Alrighty. I think they stopped where you could get up on here. But they blocked it. They used to be able to ugh, jump up onto that. I think they fixed it. I liked this map better when you didn't have any barricades or you could get on top of shit. That was like half the fun of the desert map. I was getting up on these giant hills and rocks and stuff and sniping. Having sniper wars. This map was great for sniper wars. And then some devs were like, nah, we don't like it. I'm like, come on. It's half the fun. Guys are ruining the fun. Remember that thing that we actually play games for, which was fun? You're ruining that. Can you not? Alright, three minutes. Can I get up on this rock? Can you get, like, on it, on it? Yeah, yeah let's try. Let's try to get up on it, on it. Some cheater just gonna be like, dead, 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 and I'll be dead. <laughs> so they could see me too. Right, I'll wait till I pull my sniper out. We'll send his teammate out as bait. I saw some some dudes doing that. They had this one cheater, and he just had this like naked guy running with him, and the naked guy would run out in the open and just be like, la 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 la, la and wait for you to pull your sniper out and try to snipe him, and then the cheater would be like, and take your sniper. That's what he was doing. It's cheeky as fuck. Because, like, a lot of people just run naked because of the cheaters on here. And they have a pocket sniper. So they're just trying to take your pocket sniper now. So there we were. I'm just going to wait here for two minutes, guys. Like... We can just bullshit for a few minutes. If I see somebody who doesn't look like a cheater, maybe we'll try to snipe him. But if he is a cheater, we'll probably be dead before I can snipe him. But yeah, this is, uh, this is Cheatlanders. This is the kind of cheap-ass bullshit you gotta do to finish dailies. That's why dailies aren't any fun. I just, I hate them. But... God knows I need those cash points for Horus, so we're doing them. It's just, it's annoying and boring. So, at least I get to sit here and talk to the camera, a.k.a. you guys, while I'm chillaxing. And we can kind of bullshit about how fucking awful this game is. 
No, I like this game. Like, it has a lot of potential. It just... I thought with the Steam release that it would actually take off and, like, more NA people would come and play. It's like, well, they started to, but then all the cheaters figured out that there's not that many cheaters on NA, so they crossed over and then ran away all the new, all the new players that wanted to join and play this game. So that's, that's what happened to that. And then the devs never got the cheaters under control. And if they region lock so that only NA people can play with NA people, there will be far less cheaters. Because on the Chinese sites, like I know some people that have access to the Chinese sites and stuff, like WeChat and stuff. These cheats are just all over the place for this game on there. That They're so prevalent. And since the game is free and these people, I mean, if they, if they even charge like $2 for this game, these people wouldn't be able to buy accounts to, uh, to cheat with. But because the game is free, they can basically just make as many Google accounts, as many emails as they want with new accounts. And, you know, you get banned on the one, you get 90 day, it's only a 90 day ban too, which is stupid. They should perma ban you. Um, just perma ban them. I, th I think their whole mentality is that they don't want to like discourage some of these people from like coming back and trying to play but at the same time these people are just constant cheaters they're not going to play the game legit they're just going to make a new account to cheat with so give up on these people don't 90 day ban them perma ban their accounts that way they can't keep the shit they cheated for because these people I swear they have like 10 accounts I've known a couple of them and they're like yeah I have 10 accounts like they've told me I have 10 accounts. When the one gets banned, I just switch to another one. And then by the time I get to my last one, the other one's unbanned. And then he just rinses and repeats the whole cycle. Just cheat, cheat, just the whole time. These people aren't going to play fair. They're not. These people are losers. You need to just kick them off the game completely. I keep doing everything and permanent. That way, they have to start brand new accounts and go through the tutorial nonsense every time. And they'll never have, like, a full safe slot thing, because they'll just keep cheating. And they'll never get their characters leveled up before they get banned again. And that will discourage the cheaters. That's what needs to happen. But the devs just refuse. They're like, nope, not your day burn. But God forbid you kill a teammate. Like, if you kill a teammate in-game, they give you, like, where's... Well, some of the plugins are actually banning for a lot. Killing a teammate, 365 day ban. But then you have like some people with plugins and they're like, eh, 90 days. There you go, 90 day bans. Like all the people that are going to get their accounts back for cheating after 90 days. And you know they're doing the whole spiel, the ESP aim lock, like the absolutely ridiculous cheats. They're not just like minor cheats where they turn up their sound or whatever like that. It's not this. Oh wow, this guy got a device ban. But only for 90 days. You can device ban? Device ban everybody then. Like, fuck these people. All these fucking people. Seven days. This is probably for, oh, for killing teammates. Okay, so sometimes when you kill a teammate, they only give you seven days. I don't know how they decide that. Like, seven day bans versus, like, kill a teammate, get a 365 day ban. I don't know. It makes no sense to me. I don't know how it makes sense to them, but whatever. But we finally did it, guys. There's all the dailies. They're fucking done, except for these. These are bullshit, though. You don't get fucking points for those. And then tomorrow, I'll have another bullshit. These first two quests need to be a little bit more hard than, like, run 100 meters. Everybody does that on the first game regardless. Like, if you can't move 100 meters before you get killed, then what the fuck? And then use locate. Oh, you mean all I have to do is buy a new piece of gear and then hit this button right here and hit confirm and it charged me like $60. Oh, that's super hard. Lame. Lame. Guys, this shit is lame. And also you get no rewards for this. They need to give you something for this shit. Like, I don't know. Give me fucking, give me a prism. Give me a prism re reset, like a token. Like, give me something for these. What the fuck is this? This is stupid ass game design right here. This is dumb shit. And I don't care if they watch this video. They can eat my ass. This is stupid ass shit that they need to fix. 
dumb ass fucking shit. And then same thing like the greed with like skins and stuff, like thirty dollar skins and shit. Come on, this skin. This is like a six hundred dollar skin. This is nonsense. Like, what the fuck even is this? They're like, oh, but it's super badass. It's like a level up. That they promoted this like, oh, it's a skin that you can level up. Yeah, they give you some shitty version. And then you basically have to keep going to unlock the good versions. They put all this other bullshit in your way, and it costs a bajillion skin points. It's basically unobtainable unless you play this game for years. Years. And even if you play it for years, you still, in order to, to make any significant headway on it, you have to buy these every day for real money. Because the bullshit amount of coins that you get from, like, the clan things is not enough. This is nonsense. This is like a hundred coins. Once a week, a hundred coins. And then this is like two hundred. So you get three hundred coins once a week. And look how many points it costs. For the points. Like, and mind you, it costs so much. Like, I think it costs like a hundred-ish dollars just to unlock this. This is like nonsense. Just to unlock it. And then you get the basic form. And then you have to buy... Uh, this, this was like 10k skin points. So even for the first like 10k to unlock just the fire effect. And you're only getting 300 coins a week. Do the math. You're looking at years. Years of playing this trash ass game. To unlock that fucking thing. Before you can do it. And that's if they don't decide to remove it. Before you get to it. Because wouldn't it suck... If they're like next week, like I'm working towards Horus, the final form, and they just like, they're like, oh, we're taking that away. Here's a new one. And I'm like, I would rage quit this game. I would just <laughs> delete. <laughs> I don't care. Like, I would just go in and rage quit. I'd be so mad. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm done ranting at you for now. About how fucking terrible I could go on for hours about this bullshit. Um, but that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.